first level or first set of levels in band land is Bongo Hills. Um, and there's lots of musical instruments and some fun mechanics. Some hard stuff. It's great. Now the staves are all slippery, which <laughs> means you can accidentally exit the level. Try that again. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> oh, at, least, at least I'm not dying. Right, I'm not gonna not gonna bother doing that. Okay. So joyous. I love those clouds. They're so, uh, oh, they're just lovely. There's a little fairy that miniaturizes you. And then, uh, these guys are absolute wankers. Okay. Oh, that's what I was hiding up there. Okay. Speed, fast fist. So. This, yeah, there's a lot of levels in this uh, in this first set. Um, I just love the graphics. It's so beautiful. It's a real testament to how well, like, 32-bit generation could do 2D stuff if, if it wanted to. Um, but then everyone got so preoccupied with 3D. That's fun. different um, styles of music as well. Like it's really atmospheric and quite unnerving, just that little, and now it's just a, this nice, lovely melodic one started again. Okay. Oh yeah, there's eyes that fire lightning at you, which uh, is tough. And there's a couple of levels which are, it's very big, causes a lot of problems. Um, I can get down here. <laughs> right, let's start again. Oh, bugger. There's some stuff down here. Right. Um. <laughs> That's always funny though, you turn into a little, little squat Rayman. Let's come back to it anyway. Let's hold this because you can't really get a speed up. There we go. Sure, there's something down there. Get it. Ha! <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I did that. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. Right. Yeah! Okay, I was a bit nervy. Not okay. We're okay. Don't fear. Yes. Um, yeah. This is this level uh, is is what you start on on, um, on the Game Boy one. So I didn't do that first one. So no wonder I didn't know it. I'm not gonna risk it, I'm not gonna risk the exploring.
but yeah. Um, so these are maracas, either later in this level or in another level, um, used in the rockets. There's another Latoon up there. Uh, and you can fly on them, which is quite fun. Um, on the notes. Mm. I just don't feel, don't feel safe. It's like that with the helicopter hair in this. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so you can get, pretty sure that spawns, doing that, jumping over there spawns a cloud, which now goes all the way back this way. Plays Claire de la Lune. <laughs> Which is very sweet. Um, and you can turn your fist to get that. Okay, it does mean I have to do that tricky uh, tricky note jump again. But done it once, do it again. I believe in me. See. Good. <laughs> what one man can do, another can do. <sighs> right. God, stress. Tough. Okay, here we go. Rocket time. Here we go. Okay, just follow the tings. Follow the tings. Jabronis. There we go, one up. Happy about that as well. That's good. Okay, oh, these guys. These. These. Gobs. my composure. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh this is very tricky with the lightning lightning in the eyes. Um it's quite fun goes with the uh the thunder the volume flashing lightning I, I remember I used to be quite scared of this. Kid. Oh. Oh shit, that's gonna be death. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was gonna kill me instantly. It didn't. It's good. Still oh. First example of a pig brain to swing on. Which is fun. If I jump on. Oh, I think, yeah, you need the helicopter hair to actually get, to get over there anyway. But. 
pretty sure there's something down here. I could be no. Yes. Good. Nice lot of things. Okay, I should be able to time this and just keep walking here and get her. get on the same level as them or punch and drop down so the punch the fist on the way back hits them they can be quite time consuming and then you can fall foul of other other hazards such as the lightning eyes oh god this level okay this level's hard it's very tricky so basically balancing on these uh whatever they are a bit of percussion Okay, now there's a very lengthy um, electune hidden, which involves you having to go around this section a couple of times, uh, I think. Let's see if I can have this. No, okay. How does this work? I can't remember. There's a way of getting little, like you make a fairy appear. And then, um, to make you little again, and then you can creep through, and then, I don't know, can't remember, I'll figure it out, do it on the night. Ooh, this night is not the night. Excellent. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. So you jump, I'm not gonna do that, because I think you need the helicopter here. So you jump across there, get small, jump all the way over to the back to the beginning of the level, go back through that, um, that bit that I went up, down the other side, like, yeah, it takes ages, but it's, uh, it's quite fun. I was quite pleased when I found that the first time, I remember thinking, one of those ones where I was like, I think, I think you can do this, I think, I think you can get back over there, when you can, it's very satisfying. Those eyes are nice eyes, they're just looking eyes. Not, oh, that's some... Oh, yeah, this one, I remember this being re finding this really hard as a kid. Um, it's quite fun because it's got good, good fun sprites. Good. Okay. <laughs> I thought something like that was going to happen. 
Oh. the last level of the uh, of the set as well, so I'm quite happy about that. I hope. Unless there is... No, it is. Good. Okay. Oops. Okay, and another save point. Good. Let's save the game. Good. Back to about eight lines. I'm happy with that. Okay, now this set of levels, Allegro Presto, in musical terms, means very fast, and it is great fun, uh, because you can do it at quite a rapid pace. Which um, I'm not going to do straight away, because if you come down here, get some stuff, and that. Okay, let's go right up. being on the staves is um, you punch and the because it's slippery the force of sending the punch out like makes you slide back which is quite fun there's one up there as well we're going to try and get some fun trumpets here. Trumpets that um, do that. <laughs> guys that suck you in. <laughs> Such a funny sound. Yeah. 
So good. So good. I missed that one on the uh, first level because then I would have all of them. This uh, this set, but there we go. So I have an excuse to come back and do them again later. Whoops! <laughs> That's a fun sound effect. level, this level, the bastard, isn't it? Oh my god, oh my god, this is embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh. Where is this going to sit? If this is going to be back to the world, that's going to be a pain. Oh, thank god, okay, right. Go back here. Get an extra life, because I can. I'll try and get an extra life anyway. Where do we go from here? Over there. 
God. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Jump out then, then the exit appears. Troll me. This is uh, a little introduction to the um, the final or the boss of this world, which is Mr. Sax, who is very very cool because he's a saxophone. Teaser, teaser. Uh, right. Aha! Ah, now I get a helicopter there. Thank goodness for that. The reason I wanted to get the game in the first place is uh, helicopter here. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right. Let's go and save. Okay, so again, you could go and start on Blue Mountains, the third world, or uh, there's two more, two more st sets of stages. This one being Gong Heights. And those are the dogs back floating in the sky. They'll be a bit racist. Like, 
how good is this music? Oh, it's so good. Apologies for anybody watching this on stream. It just looks like it's not working. So I'm going to stop it and uh, continue recording this and put it on the YouTube channel. Oof. Oh, this is a uh, scroll one. Game Boy Advance version definitely did not have the snoo. Oh, God. <laughs> Too bad that level. Aha! Okay, right. So we've just got um, another save point. Uh, Mr. Sax's Hullabaloo. Now there's only one actual level on here, and then you get like a sort of a mini boss, uh, well, like a, a level that's based around Mr. Sax before you then go to the final boss fight. Um, but it's a quite a long level, this, and it's quite tricky as well. So. Nice, I'll have that, definitely. So it means all uh, all six of the elect teams are hidden in this one level. Because levels where the boss sort of appears, uh, once you've beaten the, the boss, it doesn't they don't come back, uh, those levels, so there's never any elect teams hidden in them. Uh, like the one with the um, with the mosquito following me with the big uh, with a big spike ball. I love this, uh, I, love, I just love this background as well, it's very magical. Still chasing me. 
think there's a photographer down here. Yep. Excellent. Slide, slide, slide. Oh, come on. No. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, right, man. Keep your hair on. Ah. Whee. I don't want to be small. I think. Just time those bits whilst I sit in the air tonight. That'd be fun. I think, yeah, I think I remember where the last um, Electin is still to come, so that's good. Love having the helicopter here. Right, now, there's quite a tricky bit coming up here with these symbols. So they will smash down, but won't hurt you if you're in the middle. Um, but in order to get them to go left and right, you need to... Ah. Okay. Excellent. I'm pretty sure there's something else up here as well. Let's go have a little look. I've got all the electors, so that's good. Yeah, there is. I don't remember what was up here though. It's not an elective. a funny face. <laughs> that makes it all worth it. <laughs> Excellent. And a one-up, obviously, which is also good. Right. Okay. So now there is a little uh, a little level where you're running away from Mr. Sax. Oh no, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. Um, I think then you get the final Final fight with them as well. Oh shit. Yes, I guess he's chasing me now. Punch the notes. Like that. Mr. Sax is the reason why I started playing uh, playing the clarinet, because I initially wanted to play the saxophone, but I was quite little and uh, the saxophone was too uh, too big and heavy for me, so um, I switched to the clarinet, but uh, yeah, I initially wanted to play a saxophone, uh, because of how cool Mr. Sax is, and look at him, he doesn't give a shit.
Oops. What's that? now into the boss fight. Okay, this is fairly straightforward. He basically just shoots bombs or notes and if it's a note, you hit it back, if it's a bomb, you dodge it. timing. Another difference from the Game Boy Advanced version is that quite a lot of the sprites, including the bosses and things like the Mirac giant miraculous you run on, were so low res. Like you really kind of lost um, lost a lot of the character in them um, because the Game Boy just couldn't handle it. Um, it's, it's always nice to see. Uh, I mean, this is obviously by today's standards very pixelated as well, <laughs> but it, it is. Yeah, uh, a, lot, a lot better than the Game Boy Advance one, so it's nice to see them kind of in their full, full form. Right, one more hit now. And that is world two done. Ooh. And I'm going to leave it there for today. And uh, I'll get another session in in the next week to tackle uh, Blue Mountains and, uh, and hopefully Picture City after that, which I'm very much looking forward to doing. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.